this is Ken. In this video, I'm going to show you my top 15 new Cydia tweaks and apps for iOS 5. This is episode 3. Let's get started. For number 15, we got V Wallpaper 2. As you can see, I have a video moving background wallpaper on my iPod Touch. So you go to V Wallpaper 2 app and you can manage your themes. You can enable stuff. I enabled video, magic finger, and wallpaper. This also works on your lock screen as you can see. Even though this is a huge battery drainer, but it's a really fun tweak to try out. For number 14, we got custom NC background. As you can see, I have a custom image on my notification center. So this tweak allows you to do that. You go to settings and you can set this up. You can pick your image or even take photos. Now this tweak is very simple, just allows you to enable custom images on your notification center. So that was custom NC background. For number 13, we got Slider Pro. As you can see, I have a custom text on my slider. So you can download this and set this up in settings. There are lots of settings that you can choose from. So I'm going to enable date and disable custom slider text. So now it shows the date. Today is Friday the 13th, which is a pretty weird day for making this video. I'm going to disable dates and enable custom slider text again. And now I'm going to type in hello. So there you go, it shows hello. So this is Slider Pro. For number 12, we got all mail. So this allows you to enable more options for your mail app. So you click edit and all mail and you get all these options. Select all, delete all, move all, mark all, and hide all. I find this very useful because you don't have to select them one by one and delete them one by one. So that was all mail. For number 11, we got Recluto. This tweak allows you to access your music app when you double tap in your lock screen. So slide to unlock and you're in the music app. So let me do this one more time and go to the lock screen. You double tap it and then you unlock the device. It goes right into the music app. So that was Recluto. For number 10, we got Shake to unlock. Yes, this allows you to shake your device to unlock it. So go to settings to set this up. It's pretty simple to do. So let's unlock it by shaking it. So shake. Boom, it's unlocked. So that was shake to unlock. For number nine, we got mail more photos. So this tweak allows you to mail more photos. Usually you can only mail like three photos, but this allows you to email unlimited amount of photos. So let me just select a bunch of photos that I took. So 17 of them. And I'm going to click the share and click email. So I can email this 17 photos and no problem. So that was mail more photos. For number eight, we got YouTube search for notification center. So first you have to enable it in settings and then you're going to see it in notification center. So now you see this awesome widget that allows you to search YouTube videos on your notification center. So let's search for Ken Films HD. So now it's going to bring up YouTube. By the way, check out my channel for more videos. So there you go. I just searched for Ken Films HD. So that was YouTube search for notification center. For number seven, we got Switcher Cleaner. This tweak allows you to delete background apps without having to wiggle them. So you can delete them right away after you double tap your home button. This is a very convenient and useful tweak. It's called Switcher Cleaner. Next, we have Lock Launcher. This allows you to launch different applications in your lock screen. So you can choose different applications that you want to uh, put in your lock screen. Now let's go to the lock screen. And there you go, five applications that I just chose. So now let's tap Calculator and slide to unlock. Now we're in the Calculators app. So now let's tap Map and slide to unlock. Now we're in the map app. So it is very convenient. It's called Lock Launcher. 
The next one is called Unlock Effects. Now this allows you to enable different effects when you unlock your device. There are lots of animations that you can choose from. Simple and complex. Let's choose Translate Up and see how it does. So let's slide to unlock and there you go, a very cool effect. So let's choose something else, uh, zoom in. So it zooms in and rotate clockwise. Now let's choose some complex ones. Now there's a lot more. Let's choose three split. And there you go. A very cool transition for your device. So that was unlock effects. The next one is called Zephyr. This is a very cool multitasking app. So you can swipe to go to the next background app. So there's all my background apps right there. Uh, calculator, camera, and music. So let's swipe. There you go. I'm in my calculators app. Swipe again in the camera app. And swipe one more time. We're in the music app. Now this tweak is a bit buggy, but I think they're going to fix this in the future. So that was Zephyr. The next one is called Motion. Now this tweak allows you to enable different motions to your apps on your screen board. So let's enable some settings here, some animations. And now let's go back to the home screen. So now you're going to notice that the apps are moving around. Looks very cool. They're moving in weird animations. As you can see, App Store, iTunes, and Maps, and Messages, Mail, and Safari, they're all moving around, which does look pretty cool and weird. So that was Motion. For number two, we got Command Spot. Now this tweak allows you to add different commands in your spotlight search. So let's search for CMD and now it's going to bring up the different commands that you can use. So there you go, all the commands, respring, turn off, reboot, settings, Wi-Fi, SMS, mail, Google, and more. So let's try respring our device by searching in the spotlight. So let's type in respring. So click search. And there you go, respring's my device. You can do other settings like reboot turn off so it's a very cool tweak to try out so that was command spot here comes my number one tweak of this episode it is called super switcher so as you can see when i double tap my home button i get this so it's above the multitasking apps and it shows all my favorite apps right here and when i scroll right i get all these system settings like brightness and volume and also bluetooth airplane mode location and wi-fi down here you can respring your device does nothing uh, power off and reboot so this is very similar to sb settings but sometimes it's better than sb settings because you're not going to access your status bar or anything like that so i think super switcher is very nice in the settings app, you can set your applications that you want to enable for this tweak. So that was Super Switcher, my number one tweak of this month or this episode. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and also leave some nice comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out my channel for more videos. If you feel like sharing, you can share this video with your friends and also favorite the video. You can click any annotation on the screen right now to watch my other videos like episode 1 or episode 2. So thank you guys for watching this video once again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.